Hey yo, and what is up, gang? Thank you for checking out Sledgehammer TV today. The super shit down is just two days away, and in lieu of a full on preview, we were bringing you guys a predictions by WWE 2K19. We started off with The Undertaker versus Goldberg. If you want to see that, that is live on the channel right now. Not very happy with the outcome of that one, and I'm pretty sure we are going to continue down this road because 2K19 hates me. It fucking hates me. We've done four of these videos now. Well, this will be the fourth of these. And, and every time it just upsets me with the way that, that the outcome ends up. But uh, so far, thankfully, this simulation has been 0 and 2 as it pertains to the Money in the Bank ladder matches. This Friday, we will see if their predictions can turn things around and start to actually be right about things, even though, for the most part, we don't want that to be the case. We have got for you Triple H versus Randy Orton, the second biggest match booked on a card that is just absolutely horrendous. This is the worst booked card I have ever seen. You want to talk about, we need Triple H and Goldberg and Undertaker for star power. Nobody needs to see this match. Maybe 10, 15 years ago would have been interesting. Same holds true for Taker and Goldberg. But we're getting it now in 2019, and I'm giving it to you before it even happens, and we are going to see what the 2K19 machine says is going to happen. Let's head down to ringside and start this matchup as the Sledgehammer Wrestling Show presents Triple H versus RKO Randy Orton. From the Super Suck Down in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. Coming down to the ring right now, we have the Viper, Randy Orton. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri. Weighing in at 250 pounds. He is the Apex Predator. The Viper, Randy Orton. 13-time World Heavyweight Champion. The three most devastating letters in all of professional wrestling. R-K-O, Randy Orton. I've always been a huge fan of Randy Orton's work. I think he's the proper type of a veteran for the current superstars to be working with. We don't need guys like Triple H to keep coming out. We don't need guys like Goldberg and The Undertaker to come out and embarrass themselves. But we do need a guy like a Randy Orton to help lead the next generation. This was the diamond that was squeezed from a lump of coal out of the ashes from evolution. We got the legend killer, Randy Orton. Why are they fighting? this week apparently because Randy Orton wants Triple H to take his balls out of Stephanie's purse and then Triple H was like well Randy you never had any balls anyway so I guess Randy Orton is fighting to prove that he has balls ladies and gentlemen that is the crux of what this matchup is all about at least when you listen to what they have to say on Monday Night Raw Fucking awful, by the way. The Raw review is up and for you guys to watch the hammering because it was just, it was just fucking ridiculous this week. SmackDown Live followed suit. Just nonsense. Bam! I'll do the motorhead for you. Time to play the game. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. There he is. The King of Kings. The Cerebral Assassin. 14-time World Heavyweight Champion, Triple H. Just recently inducted yes, into the Hall Roman. of Fame as part From of D-Generation X. Weighing in at 255 pounds, the game, Triple H. Back in the Attitude Era, Triple H was my guy, man. I seemed to have a good eye for talent, like what I couldn't tell you was that he would end up eventually being the man that could save us and save the state of professional wrestling. What he has done outside his career, for me, is more important than what he could bring to the ring at this point in 2019. Why do we need Triple H around wrestling still? We don't. We don't. Just like we don't need this match to be happening at the super-duper suck-down 
in Jeddah. I can't tell you how many times I've seen this entrance. And then the match that would precede it would just be something awesome. Triple H is a mastermind in professional wrestling. Nobody can tell a story in the ring quite like Triple H. You can argue probably Shawn Michaels and Ric Flair amongst a handful of others possibly could only be called better than the game Triple H. Another guy with one of the longest entrances in the history of professional wrestling. We get it. You got nice pecs. You still got a big nose. And I don't like the Kratos beard. I can't get over old man H. I'd rather him just shave it nice like me. Like, you know, I could use a little bit of a shave myself. Getting a little grizzly here. But, you know, keep it nice. What's with the Santa beard? I don't get it. Doesn't compliment the nose at all. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> All right, let's get set for the action here. Let's take a look at these jerks in the crowd. They're getting fired up. I don't know what for. <laughs> I shouldn't be so mean. There's the bell, and this is going to begin this matchup. Randy Orton comes out like a house on fire. Triple H missing a clothesline now. I just don't understand what the point of them facing off right now is. As awesome as this match could turn out to be, this is just a... Weird, questionable booking decision. Fierce chop out of the corner by Randy Orton into a neck breaker. Floats over in a recover. Quick kick out because you're going to need to do a whole lot more damage to the game to get the win over him. Sends Triple H into the corner. Triple H reversing now. And again, Randy Orton. Irish whip into the opposite corner, follows up, missing, head first into the turnbuckle, but stays on top of Triple H, not giving him any quarter. Snap suplex by the Viper as Triple H is having trouble getting going here. Nice backdrop, giving the game a breather. Taking advantage now, firing away with right hands on top of Randy Orton now, seizing the moment. Triple H taking a little bit of control here. Wrenching on that neck. Goes for a quick pin himself. One, barely a one count. The game is going to have to stay on top of a younger, more aggressive Randy Orton at this point. Randy sends Triple H making a comeback here. He's trying to slow him down. Little ground and pound action by the Apex Predator. Staying on top, cutting the oxygen off to the head of Triple H. Oh, stomping across the forehead. Following up with an elbow, Randy Orton now staying on top of Triple H. Goes for a cover, one, again, barely a one count. Triple H has been through wars, epic battles with this man. Randy should know it's gonna take a lot more than that. Reversing out of a body slam attempt. Randy Orton now can't pick up the game. Swinging neck breaker out of the corner as Triple H now. The pendulum swinging once again in his favor. He cannot let Randy get a minute in to breathe. The fireman's carry takeover proves me right as he just gave Randy a little bit too much time. Orton sending Triple H into the corner again now, missing with the follow-up and ends up with a DDT by the game win. Here's a cover. Referee out of position, one. Solid one count, at least at that attempt. Barely even a two count. Arm wrench by RKO, now trying to take the momentum back, but suffers a back body drop by the game. Following up with more attacks on the small of the back. Trying to make it difficult for Randy to deliver that RKO. If the man can't stand up comfortably, he will not be able to deliver with an armbar now. Little trick he probably picked up from Becky Lynch, but look at Randy Orton now. Look at this, fighting his way out of it. Stiff right hands frees him from the clutch of the game. Standing. Suplex by the Viper. Look at him, this smug, arrogant, young, brash. How many more negative words can we throw in there? 
Oh, STF takedown by the game, stopping all of that grandiose bravado in a spine buster. My favorite maneuver. I don't know why, I just always loved Triple H's spine buster. Batista's got a good one as well. Look at this Triple H now laying in wait, setting up for something big here. What goes to deliver a kick but is blocked. Randy Orton now on the attack, another suplex. Dishing out as much damage as he possibly can to Triple H. Nice pickup, sidewalk slam by the game. Laying out Randy Orton. This is a truly back and forth encounter. The momentum swinging back and forth. Both of these men, look it out now, one, two. Orton with a kick out at two. These men, as I was saying, were legends in this business. Both men, multiple time Royal Rumble winners. Both men, former Intercontinental Champion. 27 world champions between the two. Randy Orton taking too much time playing to the crowd. Should not be giving Triple H any time to recover. Not that it matters. Excellent T-bone suplex. Orton staying on top of the game once again. Triple H looking for something now. Seemingly exhausted. Has Randy in the corner but fights back with an elbow. Oh, RKO out of nowhere. One, two, that's not it. Oh, the explosive sudden nature of the RKO cuts open the forehead of the game. Triple H is going to have to kick it into high gear. I don't know how many more times he could survive something like that. Very unique submission here. Wrist lock being applied. Randy Orton frees himself. Triple H has to be careful now. Snap suplex by Randy Orton as the game's face is becoming a crimson mask. Thanks to that devastating RKO. Drop kick from Randy Orton sends the game back down to the mat. The odds of Triple H increasingly getting smaller with every minute and every maneuver that Randy pulls off like that vicious back suplex. Things getting very intense now. Randy with his fingers right in the wound, spreading that blood across the face of Triple H. Neckbreaker with a float over cover. One, two. Still not enough to keep down the shoulders of the Cerebral Assassin. Shoulder block takedown by Triple H. This could be his last gasp for oh, his last attempt at making something work here. But Randy Orton just continues to dominate this matchup. Triple H just needs to survive with a right fist right to that bloody forehead. The referee goes down. The referee is down. Anything can happen here now. Look at Randy Orton setting up Triple H. The ref already starting to come to. Oh, Triple H gets out of this predicament, misses with a lariat. Randy Orton just stalking now. Once again, side slam by the game to the Viper. Triple H seemingly getting his wits about him, getting that breath, getting that air in the lungs, starting to come around and focusing his attack now on the arms. Vicious spine buster by the game. Gets a cover here. One, two. Randy Orton still in this matchup. The frustration on the face of the game beginning to show. Randy Orton takes control once again now. Triple H still fighting back. Has Randy in a nice stalling vertical suplex of his own. Continuing to deal the damage across the back as well. Triple H fired up now. Just pounding away at Randy Orton. He's laying in wait now. What's going to happen here? Here's a kick. He's setting him up for the pedigree. That's got to be it for Randy Orton. Good night. 
son. Oh no, wait a minute. That was three, Triple H pleading his case, but no, that was two and nine tenths. Triple H telling the ref to suck it, exactly what he thinks of this situation. Vicious DDT just plants Randy Orton's forehead straight into the mat. This is Triple H's match now to win. Wearing down Randy Orton even further, taking the wind right from his chest as he bears all his weight down in this nice headlock maneuver. Borderline Choco and continuing to stress that neck and head of the Viper. Hang on now, Randy Orton with another backdrop. Looking for something here, but Triple H staying in control. Swinging neck breaker applied once again and the game is fired up. He's ready to put Randy Orton away here. Pulls him to the center of the ring. One, two. Oh, and a kick out again. How much more can Randy Orton take? Triple H is the one bleeding like a sieve, yet he's the one in control. Wait a minute now. Randy Orton setting him up. Another RKO out of nowhere. That. No, wait a minute. Triple H immediately kicks out of the RKO. He will not be silenced. He will not be put down. What else can Randy Orton do to finish play in the game? Who comes back with another lariat sending his challenger to the floor? Staying on top of him now, not gaining any, not giving him any room to gain any position over the game. Sends him into the corner viciously and ends up in a German suplex. A cover again. One, two. Randy Orton will not stay down. Look at this. Nice takedown by the legend killer. Triple H, look at this. The smart starting to show. Goes to the outside of the ring, stopping any attempt at another RKO for it would spell the end for this matchup. Sends Randy Orton out to the outside and they are taking the fight to the arena floor. Things are gonna get really messed up now. Two of the most brutal combatants ever in the history of the WWE. Just going at it on the outside of the ring. The referee has administered the count. But Randy Orton and Triple H don't care. Sends Triple H into the barricade. Setting him up now. Oh, right across the sternum. Across the top of the barricade. Randy Orton is not being denied. The referee's count stopped at six here. Randy Orton needs to stay on top. He needs to stay aggressive. He needs to finish off the game now or never. But Triple H with a double leg takedown stops. Randy Orton's momentum dead in his tracks. But Orton coming back now with a shoulder block. At any moment, either of these men could strike and put an end to this matchup. Double leg takedown by Orton. Firing himself up in the corner. Continuing to work over the entire body of the game. Oh, I don't know if he missed or not, but the game stumbled into the ropes. Oh, sent into that bottom rope. The throat. Oh, nice takedown by the game as this match continues to just go back and forth. Randy Orton sends the game back to the outside and we are on the floor again. Back and forth they go. Triple H and Randy exchanging right hands. Sent into the barricade again is the game, but he's swinging with all of his might with everything he has left. Goes for a body slam. Still stays in control, stopping Randy Orton and Randy now stopping Triple H. The physical exhaustion starting to take its toll. 
on both of these men. They need to get inside the ring and they finally do. Triple H sucking wind now. Just trying to have enough left in him to deliver this final blow. Which is incoming right now with the... Wait a minute. Orton blocks the pedigree. He blocked the second pedigree and sends the game back to the floor. Sends Irish Whip into the corner now once again. Orton with the game on his shoulder. Snake Eyes into the top turnbuckle. Some ferocity showing now as Randy's getting a second win. Look at the blood. Just, oh, DDT. That's got to be it. No, Orton coming back again. There's been so much no-selling in this matchup, I feel like I'm watching an AEW match. But look at the face of the game. Oh, wait a minute now, backbreaker! The limp body of Randy Orton, still with enough life left for a fireman's carry takeover on the game, and now Randy's on his feet and the game is down again. What does Triple H have to do to finish this kid off? One, two, Randy Orton now. Look at how he just can't figure it out. What is it? He knows what it is. It's those three beautiful letters. RKO again to the game. One, two, three, that's it. And that is it with an emphatic RKO completely out of nowhere the third one of the match Randy Orton has put an end to the game at the Super Showdown what an intense battle this was back and forth from the opening bell to the end Look at this beautiful spine buster by Triple H. I would have given up right there. He would have flattened me like a pancake. This was a beautiful pedigree, which was not able to secure the victory for the game this time. Countless men have fallen to this match, but not Randy Orton. As I guess he's now proven to the world he has a pair of balls. Well, he has cemented some sort of a legacy for himself by beating the game in this pointlessly booked matchup out of nowhere like an RKO. So Randy Orton is 2K19's pick to win this upcoming matchup this Friday afternoon at the Sucky Showdown. And man... You know what? I'd be all right with it. I would be all right with it. I think this is the first time we've had a prediction being made by the 2K simulator that I'm actually in agreement with. I do not want to see Triple H beat Randy Orton. What good would that do to Randy Orton? It's bad enough that this match is happening at all, but if it happens and we have Randy Orton losing to Triple H, who spends most of his time running NXT and being a businessman and not so much a wrestler anymore, it just it comes off bad to me, and I, I don't want to see that. I do want to see Randy Orton, the three most devastating letters in all the professional wrestling, defeat the three most feared letters, which are Triple H's, three H's. And it's just, I, I'm not, I don't want to just shit all over this matchup, because at the end of the day, you're talking about Triple H. He's going to come, he's going to be ready, he's going to give us a good match. Hopefully he don't hurt himself, because every time he gets in the ring nowadays, he's got like Kevin Nash syndrome. And he just fucking hurts something. He pulls a shoulder. He pulls a quad. He pulls a this or a that. Let's hope that that's not the case here. And if it is, maybe he needs to really consider hanging up the boots. But he claims that Randy Orton is not going to be the one to finish off his career. It is not going to end at the Super Suck Down. And I just hope that Randy Orton gets the win here. <clears throat> Excuse me. A lot of talking. A lot of screaming in that matchup. Very intense. Very, very competitive matchup. And I expect nothing less but I don't think that we are going to get anything close to what we've seen here. We've seen Triple H busted open. The Crimson Mask was donned by the game. 
Randy Orton with three RKOs, surviving two pedigrees. This was a fucking great match. Thank you, 2K19, for this simulation. We can only hope that it is what truly comes to pass. If you guys missed The Undertaker vs. Goldberg, it was very entertaining, and it went about 10 minutes, which is going to be probably about 1,000 times longer than the actual match we are going to get to see. we probably already seen half the match in their confrontation last night on SmackDown Live. So hopefully we get chicken shit made out of chicken salad. No, that's what we are getting. We're getting chicken shit, but we, we're hoping that they make something out of this. We always hope for the best. I know this is going to be a terrible show. We got Baron Corbin in a Universal Championship match. We got a meaningless Kofi Kingston versus Dolph Ziggler match that just might steal the show, if anything. And then a bunch of other shit that really just doesn't matter right now. And uh, we took the two most high-profile matches, and we simulated them here for you, and we hope you enjoyed every minute of it, because I enjoy doing it, and we are going to keep coming back with more for you guys. So, if you want to not miss any of that stuff, and you don't want to miss our upcoming hammering of the super shit down, which will be this Friday evening as the pay-per-view concludes, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell, become one of the over 1,500 that know when you want your wrestling news full of fun and truth and justice that Sledgehammer TV is the place to be. We got wrestling game simulations. We got top 10, five lists, or whatever the hell I do. I think it's five. Top five lists. We got the weekly coverage of Raw and SmackDown and every single WWE major pay-per-view event. We will be talking about AEW and everything that pertains to that in the future. We got the coverage of the John Moxley interview. You want my thoughts on that? Go watch that video. It's not the interview, so don't expect to hear the whole Chris Jericho interview. I have some snippets. But that's all we have, so don't go there expecting to see that and get pissed off and give me a thumbs down because it's not the Chris Jericho interview. It's my analysis of what was said and what is to possibly come pertaining to John Moxley and how he just threw the WWE completely under the bus, and it was fantastic. If you guys missed anything, it is all linked in the annotations, and I want to thank everybody that has come aboard over the last week. We had a nice big influx of subscribers, and let's keep that going. So hit that subscribe button, smash that like button if you enjoyed anything on this show for at least 10 seconds or more, and then share this video with each and every one of your wrestling buddies all over the wrestling world, especially if they'll get a kick out of watching a computer-generated preview of what might actually go down at the Super Shit Down. My name is Nick Nightmare. This has been the Sledgehammer Wrestling Show's WWE 2K simulation of Triple H versus Randy Orton at the Super Showdown. I hope you guys had a great time, and we will see you next time right here on your new favorite wrestling show, the Sledgehammer Wrestling Show, only on Sledgehammer TV, right here on YouTube.com.